Welcome back all. So I have added a few lines of code, etc. As before, you'll be able to find the code either below the lectures or in GitHub or somewhere else. Uh, just go back to the very first intro and there I have listed it. I've explained that. Anyway, uh, the very first, I'm going to open up these files and edit them in the order of execution. So the very first thing that we need to take a look at, at is app component.html. This here is the only line which has been added to this file. Now this line will define how we would like to use the child component, which is the account form as specified here as well. You have the account form, how we would like to use this child component from the parent component. That sound was Linux updates <laughs> informing me that I should update the system. God knows how many I have. Anyway, uh, here created is an event and will and we will perform event binding. When this event occurs, this method here, create account or create ACC, is called in the parent component, so in the app component.ds. Uh, and we will pass the new account that was created as an event to this method. So that's how it goes. But since here it says account form, we will need to go to the account form .component .html. So here, there is a button here for the create. Yep, there is the create button. So when this create button is pressed, because keep in mind, even though this is app component .html, you have account form tags here, which means that the HTML, com HTML code from here will be inserted and executed there. So when a user clicks the create button here, you will have the create ACC method that is going to be called. Now the create ACC here and create ACC uh, here, they're not the same methods. They just have the same names. It can be confusing, but they have deliberate, but I have left the names same in a deliberate, deliberately. Here's why. If you go into the account form dot component, you will see a lot of code here. I'll explain it, but for now, just take a look at this method here. It says create ACC. And if you go into the app component dot TS, you will uh, again see, yep, there we go. You will again see create ACC. Now these two methods, they have little to nothing with one another. So you don't have to really uh, be concerned about that because you can have as many as many methods as you want and they can all have the same names in different components. They will not interfere with one another. Okay, so we have went into the, here we've clicked the button and now we're gonna go into the account form.component.ts. Hopefully you have managed to write it partially. If yes, that's great. If not, oh well, just take a look and see what happens. So first of all, we have imported component and we needed output and we needed event emitter. So same things as before with the account list. And we have imported account as well from account.model. So account.model, you have it here. So you have the class account. We have imported that as well as we will need to utilize this. We will need it. Okay, going back. Now we have begun creating our component. So the selector is account form. The selector is in direct relation with this, uh, not here, sorry. Wait, 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 getting a little bit lost here. So uh, you have the selector account form here. So we need to go into the account HTML. And is it here? Account form, yep, there we go. So you have account form selector here. For some strange reason, it, I read account list and I got a little bit confused there. Anyway, so one more time. You have the selector which says account form. That selector account form is in direct relation with the HTML code here where it says account form. So we know what we are referring to. Let's go back to the TS. 
So the template URL, that's basically app account and account form dot component dot HTML. So we are effectively utilizing the HTML, which we have created for this component. Styles, again, same thing. We're using the CSS, which we have previously created. And now we would like to export a class account form. What an exported class means, that's been explained at least two times by now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that. And then we come to the output decorator. Now the decorators have been, we have had a separate chapter for decorators, but basically its purpose here is to provide the logic so that the parent component could perform event binding to the created event. It's basically the same as before. We are simply instantiating a new uh, event emitter that will be able to emit data of a type account. And it says here add output, and then it says created here. And if you remember from before, we used to type something. We used to type in something like this here, but there is no need. If you don't want any special names, by default, this name will be taken for the decorator and it says created. So it will be like created was written here and you have created here as well. So they're bind they're all interconnected, intertwined, utilizing one another. Okay, so now we come into the private method create account. So create ACC. Uh, this is the create ACC, this basically, this method is in this component. It has nothing to do with the app component .ts create ACC method. It's not to be confused as it is not the same. It only has the same name as, and as I have stated, you are entitled, you are allowed to have the same names across different components. Uh, keep in mind that this method create ACC will be called from account underlying form dot component dot HTML. So it will be called from here and here is the call. So create ACC right here on click, it will be called. Now, uh, this method and its arguments are pretty much the same before. The method receives HTML input elements for title, description and balance as you can see here. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it a little bit more. So this account method. First of all, you have something here, which might look a little bit strange. It says var new account, and then semicolon account. So this variable, we are initializing to a new account that we are making. Uh, first of all, this, it says var, so variable. This is a account variable of type new account. And we're stating like equal, and then we're create, we're basically just, uh, we're taking, we're taking the values from the HTML elements. So it says like new account, and then it says like title element, and then value, uh, description L and then va dot value, and then balance element and the dot value. So we are creating a new instance of it and we are taking these values from the HTML elements. Uh, notice that we are fixing the ID number to the zero, which is the first argument. This is very much different from before. We're fixating the ID to zero. Why are we doing this? Well, we're doing this because the ID assignment is something that is supposed to be done on the server in our case, and we would not like, and we would not like this component to be involved in this process at all. Uh, we would not like it to be able to assign ID. So we're going to leave that for the parent component. And we're just going to state a zero here later on the parent component as the process continues, this will be changed. And down below where it says this dot created dot emit, we are basically emitting a variable new account as an event to all those that are subscribed. In our case, the parent component is subscribe. Uh, after that is done, after we have emitted that, we are resetting the field values. My apologies here, this is a 
uh, variable new account of type account, not the other way around. My sincere apologies for that. I don't know why. I've just rotated, rotated them around for some strange reason. Anyway, so you have a new account, which has been, so you have a new account here, and we have just specified the type of the new account, and then we have initialized the variable new account to these values. Now, since we have initialized it to those values, it contains those values, and now it is being emitted as an event to all those who are subscribed. They will receive these values, and then we will simply reset field values. And now, since our app, since our uh, parent component is actually subscribed, as you can see, it says here created, and you have a this, and you have a decorator which is also created. Therefore, this parent component is actually subscribed. It will receive that event. It will receive that event, and that event will be passed to the create ACC uh, method here. So you see, it receives an event. And then once it receives an event, now we are going to go ahead and call the create ACC method, which is in the app component.ts, and you have it right here. So some of the things have been eliminated. We're no longer going to need this. So we can just go ahead and delete it. But then again, you will have the source code available without any problems. <clears throat> My throat is, a is bothering me a little bit, so no big deal there. Anyway, so you have a private method here, create ACC, which will basically uh, be called and it will start receiving. So there are a few more before well, actually, let's explain it, and then I'll explain the rest of the things that we've actually changed here. So this is the method which we are binding to the created event, and it will be called when the child component basically emits a new event. And the parent component will basically be assigning the new ID here. So it says new account dot ID equals this dot, and then underline next ID plus plus. So we're iterating the next ID by one, incrementing. And the final thing that remains is that, is that we need to basically push this new account into our array where accounts are stored up above. So you have underline accounts. So we just need to basically push it to see underline accounts. So we're going to go ahead and store it there for safekeeping. Later on, we're going to have an actual database, so it will be more realistic, so to say. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, nothing in terms of, uh, these are my chapters from the Linux server from where I'm pulling them, the source code, and nothing on the site has changed. I can actually reload the site. And there you go, it's still exactly the same site. Nothing has changed, we have just configured the way that the files are separated, the way that the components are separated, and we have assigned roles to components. So you will be in charge of displaying account forms, you will be in charge of displaying the accounts, you will be in charge of storing the account information, etc. This is a good programming <clears throat> this is a good programming principle for pretty much any 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 productive work in terms of programming of whatsoever. Okay. So I imagine that you're gonna have some questions that some things might remain unclear. So please feel free to ask. We will be more than happy to reply and help you out in any way that we can with any amount of additional clarification. Okay, so going back to the top of this file, there are a few things which we needed to import. So it says import account form. So we need to import account form and then we need to specify where it is located, the account form component. Uh, down below into the directives, we had to include account form. So account form is a directive and this is our new component that we are listing. We're listing it here so that, so that the parent component would be, would actually even go looking for it as it is imported above as well. So uh, if you want to learn more about the directives, we've talked about it in some of the previous chapters as well. So I'm going to bid you farewell here and hope to see you in the follow-up or actually in the next phase of the account form separation. <laughs>